Welcome back to part two of my series on the Small Wonder Labs Rockmite 40. I say 40 because I, the version of the Rockmite kit that I got was for the 40 meter band. Um, I realized the last video wasn't real informative or real exciting, sorry about that. Um, I went ahead and opened it up and uh, <clears throat> I'll show you a couple of still pictures here of the kit. Uh, I took these while I was at work. Part of my job involves uh, taking photographs for products, so we're trying out a, a light box, and uh, so I threw some of the parts of the, well, all of the parts of the radio in the light box and snapped a few pictures, so let's take a look. As you can see, uh, Dave Benson at the K1SWL does a nice job of organizing all the components and the parts. Everything is sealed very nicely. Just to give you a size comparison of the Rock Might, I put my iPod Touch down and I was shocked to uh, see that the circuit board is half the size of the iPod. Alright, so you can see that um, everything is packaged real nice. Um, Dave, the, uh, the guy that put this all together, uh, does a real nice of keep it, keeping everything organized. Uh, the parts kit, uh, these are, are the connectors, the uh, connectors and switches. I went ahead and ordered those. That was a separate uh, separate purchase from the kit. You can order all these parts from Mauser or uh, other suppliers uh, to make make the kit work. Uh, but I went ahead and just did it right from Small Wonders Lab just for um, sake of ease. Um, and then of course we have the uh, the chips and the transistors in a electrostatic bag, anti electrostatic bag. Um, you gotta be real careful when you handle those, so he packaged those real nice. Um, and then we got the, uh, the uh, printed circuit board. Uh, very small. If you compare it to, uh, as you saw in one of those one of those pictures, compare it to my say iPod Touch. It's uh, it's not big at all. It's a it's a nice little kit, um, but still plenty of space to do the soldering. Um, I'm totally new to soldering. I've really only done it on a circuit board once before. Um, but there should it, it shouldn't be too bad. I, I should be able to handle this. So there's the uh, circuit board. And then uh, you have the uh, diodes and a couple of chokes that looks like they're uh, packaged separately. And then the rest of the parts um, in two different bags but attached you have your your resistors and crystals and uh, and then your capacitors and, and uh, I'm not sure what else is in there it looks like the heat sink as well so everything's organized real nice and uh, I do have to give uh, credit to uh, that's my that's my uh, son in the background if you heard that do have to give credit to a, a couple of other guys um, one is uh, his name is John Robb and his call sign is, you know what, I just blanked out. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen, uh, including a link to his YouTube channel. I'll put the URL on there, and uh, hopefully in the notes if I remember. Um, but uh, John d does a real nice series of videos on YouTube, uh, just on, on building different things. And he built, he's built the, uh, the Rock Might and did a real nice series of videos on that and I'm not even going to try and compete with what he did but he had a, a real good suggestion and that was to find this uh, Small Wonders uh, Small Wonder Labs Rock My Assembly Manual. This did not come with the kit um, but uh, a ham uh, whose call sign is NE1RD put this together and it is extremely thorough. I mean it goes just part by part, component by component, tells you exactly where to put it, what to do. Um, I've glanced through this and it's done very nicely. Uh, at the back, there is a. Here, I'll uh, try and get this a little bit closer to the camera. As you can see at the back, there's a whole parts list. And uh, John had the idea of when you're doing your inventory on your parts, uh, taping each part uh, to this list, to this inventory list, so keeping uh, you know things real, real organized, and you can see at a glance if you've got all your parts, which I don't expect to have a problem with that. But uh, that way, everything's just real nice and organized. So um, I would definitely recommend getting this Small Wonder, uh, Small Wonder Labs Rockmite assembly manual. Uh, just look for the Rockmite and ME1RD, and you can find the PDF in several areas. I went ahead and made a hard copy, but um, I also put it on my wife's iPad too. You can download the PDF to iBooks and have an electronic version uh, real handy as well. 
So I'm pretty excited about working on this. I have not opened all these different parts up yet. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and we'll pause. And I'm going to do an inventory and uh, I'll show you how I, I, I put everything on the inventory sheet and keep everything organized. Well, thanks again for watching uh, a short video on the Rockmite 40, and it's going to be an ongoing series. I'm planning on, um, as I start assembly, putting uh, each part on the board, taking a, a picture, a still photograph, and then eventually doing a time-lapse video. So hopefully that comes together all right. All right, well, 7-3 from KD8 and JZ.